Hey YouTube friends and family, it's Michelle back with Pulse with a Purpose. And uh, I just wanted to say if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're an OD, um, OG, you know, welcome back. I am here today with my first haul, grocery haul, of May of 2023. I went to Walmart today and I picked up some... Um, just some necessities that I was needing, and some things that I tried to pick up at the end of the month and couldn't get, they had in stock, and then a few other little odd new things, and you know how it all adds up, so ended up adding up to $70.71, and 71 cents. so I'm going to show you what I got today. Okay. So, first of all, um, one of the main, oops, sorry about that, one of the main reasons for the trip was for milk, so I picked up a half a gallon of milk today, I keep going back and forth, I'm picking up a half a gallon and a gallon, so I picked up a gallon the last time, but I still didn't use it all, so we're gonna go back to the gallon again, because you know how I hate wasting food, so we're gonna see how this does. Um, and then in my last grocery haul at the end of the month, I was looking at stuff for salads, and none of the stuff for salads looked good. Luckily today, some of it did. I still didn't get the lettuce, but I'm hoping to maybe get that tomorrow at, um, Ruler. So, we'll see. So, they had, like, a uh, regular shredded lettuce and stuff, but I was wanting some romaine hearts and stuff to actually cut up myself. They had a couple of packages, and they just didn't look good. So, but I did get this Caesar bacon salad. That sounded good. I think I've had it before, so, you know, can't go wrong with the Caesar salad. It's my favorite salad, so. And then add bacon on top of it. Hey, that's a win-win in my book. So, I did get that. Um, I did get some broccoli and some cauliflower because I wanted to put this in my salad mix. So, I got that. I got an English, cup Ugh. English cucumber. I've never had just raw cucumber. I love uh, cucumbers. Cucumbers and onions and, like, vinegar. I love them like that. That's the only way I've ever had them. So, I'm going to try cutting it up and putting it in my salad and seeing how I like that. This is something I never, ever thought that I would ever haul in a grocery haul. That's tomatoes. But we're going to give these a try in salads, too. These are like the little cherub tomatoes. So, I don't know that I've ever had the little cherub ones. But I don't like, you know, the big kind of tomatoes. Red ones, anyway. I love fried green tomatoes. But we'll see. You know, it, it's weird how your taste buds change as you get older. So, we're just going to see how we like that. I thought I would pick them up and try them. You know, it's it's getting more on the healthier side. And so we're going to try that. And salad sounds so good. And I just want a loaded one. Um, I got some sweet corn. I'm going to try um, making some fried. I think it's called honey. Fried sweet honey corn or something like that. I don't know. It was a... Uh, a recipe that Mel did on Mel's Kitchen. So, we're going to try that. It looked really good. sounded good. I'm not real, real big on corn, but this looked really good. I mean, I'll eat it and stuff, and I, I like it if it's sweet. So, we're going to try that. Um, then, the last time I was there, I wanted to get some onions and peppers already chopped. They had the peppers, but they didn't have the onions. So, um, they had the onions, but they were like the bigger slices, and I just wanted the little ones, so they had these today, so I picked those up. Um, I love these chicken fajitas, and I cleaned out my uh, refrigerator and my uh, freezer in the past week, and I noticed I didn't have any of these on hand, and I like to have these on hand because they're good for salads, they're good for making wraps, um, just little add-ons and stuff. So, I went ahead and picked up a bag of those. So, I would have them. Then, you know me and my Lay's potato chips. So, they're still $2.70 something a bag. Which I don't think is too bad. 
these days. So I went ahead and picked up a bag of the Lay's. And before I got to those, I then decided I was going to get some Cheetos if my Lay's weren't cheap. So I went ahead and I picked those up. Um, then I've seen the pecan sandies, the like regular kind. They were like four dollars or something a, a, a package, and I kept going back and forth to them. And I was like, no, nope, I'm not spending that much on these cookies. So then I kept going down the aisle, and I actually see the Great Value brand. So I don't think I've ever had the Great Value brand. <laughs> it was like a dollar something. So a dollar something versus four dollars and something yeah that's a win-win in my book hopefully they're good so we're gonna give those a try and see how they compare but yeah i grew up eating those things um, they were one of my mom's favorite cookies so yeah i love those things and i hadn't had them in a long time and um, then i got uh some um just some tortilla chips uh, usually I get on the border, but, or Tostitos, but, I mean, they're just going up and up and up and up, and these are still $2 a bag, so, yeah, we're gonna get those. Just trying to save money where I can, <laughs> folks, that's all I can say. Um, I did get some of the Prairie Farms Cottage Cheese, I always get the small curd, don't want the big chunks, nope, nope. No, thank you. So I just ran out of that a couple of days ago, and I like to have that on hand because I like to eat that with different meals, and I thought, too, it might be good on a salad even. So, you know, we might try that. Um, I have some Caesar salad dressing, but I didn't have any kind of French or Catalina, so I went ahead and picked up the Catalina because that's my favorite of the two. Um, I uh, noticed the other night that I'm out of uh, microwave popcorn. And when my niece and nephew come over, we usually have popcorn. So, I got this. I don't know if I've ever tried this brand before. It's the Pop Secret Movie Theater. So, the butter kind. So, we're going to try that. Um, I did pick up these fruit and grain bars. These are the blueberry. I picked up the apple the last time. And I still have a couple left over. But they were really, really good. Um, I think I got the actual Sun Belt. I don't know if I got the Sun Belt or the, um, I might have gotten the Great Value brand, but they're like the knocks off, knockoffs of the Sun Belt. And I do, I do, I think it was the Great Value brand, but I got the Apple Cinnamon and they were really good. I was actually over there looking for, um, the Sun Belt. They have a limited edition, uh, lemon bar. And I was really wanting to try those. Those sounded so good, but they don't have them and I don't think they're going to carry them. I didn't see a place for them or anything. Um, and I was also looking for the Krispy Kreme Cruelers, the blueberry ones. And I think my store has completely stopped carrying the Krispy Kreme, um, like, breakfast items and stuff. I was, like, so sad to see that because I didn't see that on the shelf and I didn't see a place for them anymore. They're usually over by the Little Debbie Cakes, and that's where I looked first. They weren't there, and then I went over to the breakfast items, thinking they might have moved them, but no. And I went up every aisle today, so they weren't on an end cap or anything. So, really sad to see those gone, because whew, I'm hoping that they didn't discontinue making them. I'm hoping maybe it's just my store doesn't carry them, and then I can get them somewhere else, because... They were one of my favorite things to eat in the breakfast. They, at one time, they were a staple almost in my halls. So, yeah, I'm hoping, like I said, my store just quit carrying them and I can get them somewhere else. We're going to be looking, that's for sure. Um, something else I picked up was some cornstarch. I needed that. I meant to, well, I was going to pick it up in my last haul. They actually had it, but it was on the very top, top shelf. I couldn't reach it. There was nobody around, so I was like, nix that idea. I'll get it the next time, and today I went, and they had it moved down a shelf so I could reach it. It's like they knew I needed it today, so I picked up some of that because I uh, don't like not having that on hand just in case I make something with, like, a gravy and I need to thicken it up, so... And I had to throw mine out because it was expired. So, yeah, I got that. Um, then back there, I've seen this. And I have never had tilapia, but that just sounded so good. 
a little bit of pepper or tapia fillets. So we're going to try that. Um, I like like cod and stuff like that. I just don't like it if it has a real fishy taste. So I know that tilapia can be expensive depending on where you get it. This wasn't too bad. I don't remember what it was, but I thought it would be a good, you know, uh, start to try it and stuff just to see if I like it. Now, hopefully this is good when it comes to tilapia and it's just not, you know, not good. And then I think I don't like tilapia, but I'm hoping it's good. Uh, so I know a lot of people, when they cook their tilapia, they cook it in like a lemon pepper, uh, you know, sauce or whatever. And so I thought, well, I'm going to give these a try. I've never seen them in the box before like that. So pick those up. And then uh, these are so good. The pierogies. I got the cheese kind. I've only had them one other time and they are really good. So I just seen those and I thought, you know what? That's That would be a good side. Something different, you know, for a side one night. So I went ahead and I picked those up. We're going to come back down. Um... Also, last time I went to the grocery, I wanted some of the corn street taco shells, and they didn't have them. They had them today, so I picked those up. And then I've been looking for the Weiler's little lemonade pouches that you can, the singles that you can put in your bottled waters. And I don't know if Weiler's doesn't make them anymore or what, or uh, a lot of the stores don't carry that or what, but cannot find that brand anymore so i ended up getting the great value lemonade ones i know that in the past i always liked the weilers better than the great value but you know if you can't find them you gotta do what you know what you gotta do so i went ahead and picked those up because i am trying to drink less soda and more juices and stuff like that so I'm not saying it's a whole lot better for you, but, you know, I think anything's pretty much better than soda. Except for maybe these. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, you need a little treat every now and then. And so this just sounded wonderful. Oreo coffee, what, you know, hello. And then this is um, the brownie batter. Um, donut for Dunkin' Donuts. So I wanted to try those. It just sounded so good. And then last but certainly not least, I got two packages of pads for Jackson, which is really why I went over there because he was down to one. So needed to get those for my boy for his belly band. So picked up two packages of those. So we should be good to go for the month of May with those for him. And that, folks is my grocery haul so hope you enjoyed i know i'll be back with more but this is just the start so like i said we're at 70 dollars and 71 cents sad i know you know what as a matter of fact on cinco de mayo i didn't even eat anything mexican i was out about that day i didn't i knew i was gonna feel like going home and cooking so I had some leftovers that I was just going to make. It was uh, some baked ravioli. But I was hungry. And there was a McDonald's there. And I thought, you know what? It's been a long time since I've had a order of fries from McDonald's. That just sounds really good. Because I'm not a real big McDonald's fan. <laughs> so, but I do love their fries and their breakfast foods. So I went and got me a large fry, and I thought the girl was wrong on the total. I thought I misheard her or something. Went ahead and paid for it. I looked at my receipt. No, I didn't mishear her. She was correct. It was $4.05 for a large french fry. I didn't get anything to drink. Didn't get a sandwich, nothing. And that was all that was on my receipt was that large fry. And I was like, you know, it's been forever since I've had fries. And I wonder when they went up to this price. And I'm thinking, it's probably going to be forever before I have them again. Because unless those french fries are sewed on a gold plate that I can keep, 
I am not paying four dollars and five cents for a large fry. That is just absolutely ridiculous. So do you mamas and you daddies out there feeding your kiddos and stuff, my hat's off to you because I don't know how you're doing it. Between the grocery prices and the prices that they're charging at restaurants and stuff, I don't know how families do it. And, you know, I the one thing that I cannot stand is to see people hungry. That's why I cannot stand to waste food because there are just too many hungry mouths to feed in the United States. And it's ridiculous that, you know, we help everybody else out. And and I know these other countries, they're, they're um, you know, struggling just like we are. I'm not saying that they should help us. But I do believe that, you know, our government should help the United States and make sure they're taken care of before they go and start taking care of these other countries and stuff. Because there's just too many people on the streets, you know, begging for food. So, yeah, you know, that's my little <laughs> rant today. But it's just ridiculous. So, yeah, to all you mamas and daddies feeding those babies, you know, hats off to you. And, you know, I know you got to do what you got to do. So, that's my haul. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back with more. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye-bye. Hey, YouTube friends and family. It's Michelle with Pulse with a Purpose. And I'm here today with a Walmart haul. Uh, this is from my neighborhood Walmart. And I spent $95.27. Wasn't expecting to spend that much. Actually, I was just going over there to get a couple of things. Today is my little Pomeranian miracle. It is her third birthday and I wanted to go over there and get her some treats and stuff for her birthday and there were a few things I needed to pick up but you know how it is plus I was hungry and things looked good and sounded good so here we go so like I said $95.27 but yeah uh we'll see what all I got here so Back here, I got some of the uh, Great Value Hawaiian uh, Sweet Rolls. That's the slider ones. Um, I'm going to be making some cracked chicken in the next uh, couple of days. So, I like to eat that on those. Toast them up and everything. Oh, it's so, so good. So, I did pick those up. I also am wanting to make some knockoff Arby's roast beef sandwiches. And I looked for onion buns. The only kind of onion buns they had were the sweet kind that were like the Hawaiian. Um, it was the great value Hawaiian sweet um, onion buns or whatever. And I don't think that's the kind I want. I think I just want regular. So I ended up going with these. I thought these looked really good. So... Um, they're the artesian um, buns and stuff, so I've never actually seen them like that. So, they look like restaurant-style buns to me. So, I went ahead and picked those up. Um, then I picked up an 18-count of eggs. These were only $1.87, like $1.87, I think. So, I thought that was a good deal for 18 eggs. Um, I got some romaine lettuce, finally, the uh, actual kind that I could actually chop up myself. I thought these looked really good, so I made some salads the other night, uh, well, last week. I lived off salads, I mean, is what I'm trying to say, and they were so good, so I'm going to make some more salads in the coming week. So, I got that. Um, I got some more broccoli and cauliflower to go into the salad. Um, there's an English cucumber there. I got that to go in my salad because I put that in at the last time and it was really good. I liked it. And I do have a little bit of Caesar salad left, but not much. 
So my favorite is the Marzetti. So I got a uh, thing of that. I was hoping they would have the new Chick-fil-A sauces and stuff. But my Walmart did not have them, unfortunately. So, yeah. I don't know that they even have a Caesar salad sauce at Chick-fil-A. But I know they have a, come out with like six different kinds, I think, of sauces. Um, I bought another bag of Lay's potato chips. Because y'all know how I am with my Lay's potato chips. Um, I bought a one pound bag of some sharp cheddar cheese. I'm finding that buying these bigger bags is actually cheaper in the long run. And, um, they're going further than the littler bags. So, yeah, I'm liking doing that. As a matter of fact, I may even actually, once I get all the cheese that is in my refrigerator used up, I may actually start going to, like, um, I don't know if it's two or three pound bags, but, um, yeah, so I got another bag of that, so I'm going to need that for several different recipes coming up, um, oh, I didn't put these out like they should have been, but anyway, um, I did get these, this is the Sonic, it is the, uh, ocean water, and, The Crushed Pineapple. I watched Nicole Burgess's uh, video, our channel. Uh, she used to coupon a lot. I used to watch, I started watching her for couponing. And then she started doing food videos, and I enjoyed those. Then she went keto, and um, I kind of lost interest in a lot of her videos because I'm just not about the keto diet. It's not my thing. But now she's starting to come back a little more or doing like grocery video haul videos and stuff like that. And a lot of the stuff that she buys is still like, um, you know, stuff that I might be interested in. For example, she was talking about how she had seen, I think there's a TikToker that's uh, doing a lot of different uh, drinks and stuff with the little... Um, uh, packets of the flavored water things, and, uh, she's doing all kinds of, like, different combinations and stuff like that, and she said that she saw her combine these two together, and she tried it, and she said it was really, really good, so, like I have said in some of my previous hauls, I'm trying to drink less soda and more water and stuff like that, I know these probably aren't the best for you, but I figure they are better than soda. So, you know. Um, I got some more strawberries because I still haven't made my strawberry cake that I've been wanting to make. And I'm wanting to add real strawberries to that. Plus, I'm going to take what's left over from these strawberries and I'm going to put them uh, some sugar on them. And put them in a container, and then I'm going to use those to put in some lemonade to make some fresh strawberry lemonade, which will be really, really good. I actually caught some of the thinly sliced chicken breast on uh, Martindale, so I was really excited about that because I still hadn't gotten any of those like I'd been wanting to get, so... They had a couple other packages, but they didn't look so hot, but these looked good, and they're still, the sell-by date is still, like, a couple of days away, so, um, I'll definitely be freezing these, though, for later on, but, yeah, I was happy to get those on Markdown, so, you know, sometimes it pays, uh, to get things a little later, because you may find them on sale, so, because I've been looking for the thinly sliced ones. Um, then back there, like I said, I'm wanting to make the, um, knockoff, uh, Arby's roast beef, so I got me some curly fries, and then back there is some cookies for Miracle, she's gonna get half of one of those, and Jackson will get the other half, I know they're not good for them, but, you know, it's once a year, they get a little treat like that for their birthdays, so, um, yeah, I'm going to stick a little candle in it, take a couple of pictures of her for her birthday, and yeah, she'll be happy.
And so will Jackson. <laughs> um, I got some of the rotisserie chicken. This stuff has went back up again. I was hating to see that, but I just wanted this for convenience-wise because I'm wanting to make a um, chicken and dumpling bake thing. So I just thought it would be a lot easier just to get that. So that's what I'm doing because I'm not sure what I want to make it. And that way, if I want to make it on the fly, I don't have to worry about thawing chicken or, you know, putting it in the uh, Instapot or none of that stuff. It's already cooked. So, I just did it for convenience-wise, but I'm going to have to stop doing I'm going to have to not be doing that because as long as it's, it's like almost $10 again. They had come down to like $7 and something, but they're going back up again, so... Then, I don't know if y'all know this, but Wendy's now has their chili in a can. And I've never had Wendy's chili, but I've always heard it's good. So, they had it on an end cap because they just got it at my store. And I splurged because this stuff was $4.42 a can. And it's not a very big can. So, we're talking probably one nice heaping bowl of chili here. But, you know, I figure if you go and buy it at Wendy's, it's probably going to cost about that too. And, um, yeah, so hopefully it'll taste like that and it'll be good. I like their chili, you know. But um, this probably will not be something that I'll purchase a lot or maybe not even again. It's just something I wanted to try. So there you go. Um, I'm going to be making some instant potatoes here for a couple of dinners. Actually tonight, I still have a cooked dinner tonight and I'm thinking about making um, the um, oh, the tater tot casserole and I'm thinking about making some instant potatoes to go with it because it just sounds good. And I like gray, brown gravy with mine, so when I make brown gravy, I like to take one brown gravy and one chicken gravy and mix them together, and it makes a really good gravy. So, I did that. These here, OMG, these are so, so good. These are the Pina Colada True Fruit. Um, in my last haul, I think I got the uh, chocolate-covered bananas. Not a big fan because they're covered in dark chocolate. And um, the chocolate is very bitter. So if you like chocolate, the, your dark chocolate to be real bitter, you might like it. I don't. I'm very picky about my dark chocolate. I mean, there's a few things that I'll eat with dark chocolate, like... Um, Truffles, a lot of times, the lint truffles, their dark chocolate is not real bitter and stuff. But, yeah, it was way too uh, bitter. But these are coated in white chocolate. And, oh, my gosh, they are so good. I bought my mom some, and I tried some of hers. So, I got these uh, for me, a little snacky snack. Um, I got some biscuits because... I'm going to be making some white gravy because I'm going to be making uh, some of the Walmart chicken tenders that come in a bag. Um, probably going to be making some of those here uh, coming up. And I like to uh, make like a white gravy with them to dip them in, kind of like the chicken baskets at Dairy Queen. And I know I'm not going to use all the white gravy, so I figure, like, the next night I'll do biscuits and gravy. So, I love it when I make food and then I can carry it over to the next night and have something completely different. So, that's what I'm going to do with that. So, I needed some biscuits for that. I have the gravy and the chicken and all that, but did not have the biscuits. And also, I may have biscuits with my chicken and stuff because I'm not going to need all of these biscuits. I think it makes five. So, um, then also, I got some uh, cottage cheese because when I made my salads last week, I put cottage cheese in it. And it was so good. So, ended up going through a whole container of that stuff while making all my salads and stuff. And then, like I said, 
I went over there to get Miracle. Oh, I forgot this, too. I got this, too. It's the lemon pepper um, great value sauce. I thought that would be really good to put on, like, shrimp stuff. So, um, I actually had tilapia for the first time Mother's Day. We went to Cheddar's, and I had tilapia, but it was in a creamy garlic sauce. But I think a lot of people also make that in like a lemon pepper sauce too. So I was thinking, you know, if I get some of that and try to make some of that maybe, um, I might use this as well. I don't know. But I I do think it will be good on shrimp and stuff. So I picked that up because I had never seen the lemon pepper sauce. So, yeah. Actually, I was looking for... I know I've seen it before, and I don't know which company makes makes it, but it's called the Alabama White Sauce, and it's like a, a some kind of barbecue sauce, but it's white. Um, and I was looking for that because Mandy in the making, she did a video where she did a bunch of different sauces, and she did a knockoff of what they call the white Al or Alabama sauce or whatever. And she said it was really, really good. And that made me think, I know I've seen that at Walmart before. And I can't remember, like I said, which company made it or anything, but I looked down the whole sauce aisle and did not see no Alabama white sauce. So, but I did come across that. So I feel like that was kind of a score there. Um, and then, like I said, uh, like I was getting to before I come to that, I went over there to get Miracle some little treats for her birthday. So I got her some little dog cookies here. And then back there, I got her some of the Milo's Kitchen little um, meatballs. So and these things here are quite pricey. They're like, I think like $14 for a bag. So yeah, we only get those on special occasions. <laughs> So, yeah, down there is my haul, y'all. And, like I said, it was $95.27. My previous total was $70.71. So, my total so far, and today is April the 18th, is $165.98. So... Um, next week I'll be going to Sam's Club because I gotta renew the subscription, or the, I was gonna say the prescription, but I guess it is a prescription if you, <laughs> if you look at it kind of that way. Um, but anyway, I have to renew my subscription to them, and so, I know this total is gonna go up quite a bit once I join, or once I go there, and hopefully I'll be able to go to, um, Aldi as well. So I was going to go to Meyer on Mother's Day, but some things happened and we ended up not being able to go. We have a Meyer here and I've only been one time and that was opening day. And um, it's just on the other side of town. And um, I don't know why I haven't went there before because the bus does go out there. But, um, you know, it's like I said, it's on the old whole other side of town and stuff so it's just a hassle getting to places on the other side of town on the bus it's like a two or three hour one-way trip you know so we're talking like probably uh four to five hours on the bus round trip so that can make your day long so anyway um but hopefully i'll make it out there here soon because i'd like to go there and just like look at some of their things and see what kind of different things they have versus the grocery stores I usually shop at. So I'm going to get off here, get this stuff put in the freezer, uh, give Miracle and Jackson uh, the birthday cookie, and take some pictures, and then I got to get going on my own dinner because I'm quite hungry myself. So thanks for watching, y'all, and I'll be back with some more hauls. Bye-bye. Hey YouTube friends and family, it's Michelle. I'm back with a quick Walmart haul. This ended up being a total of $18.44. So I 
So that's going to bring my total as of May 22nd to $184.42. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty quick and simple. So we're going to get right to it and see what I got. So I basically went over to Walmart to get some milk. So that's what I got there. Um, I got some more croutons because I needed those. These are the great value uh, garlic and buttered croutons. They're very good. So um, I do suggest those if you like croutons on your salad and stuff. So you can also use them for like toppings on um, casseroles and stuff like that as well. Um, I got a bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. I also got some of these um, fruit bars for great value. I'm really liking these. These are the strawberry kind. Um, I've had the apple, cinnamon, and the blueberry, and I like those very much. So, hoping I like these as well. And then back there, I got a bag of chips because I was out of chips and needed some chips. And then the last thing I got, oh, no, I got some mayo. Um, I'm going to try to make, um, oh, uh, some sub sandwiches and stuff. And I needed some mayo for those. So I picked that up. And then the last thing I got that I want to try is this stuff. It's uh, not food related, but. It's called the pink stuff, and I've heard really great things about it as far as, like, cleaning your ovens and stuff. Um, I usually use the, um, I think it's Easy Off for my oven cleaning. That works really, really well. So, this isn't what I bought it for. I actually bought it to clean the bottoms of my pans because you know how they get, like, that brown, um, you know, yucky stuff on the bottom of them and stuff so i've heard that this takes that off and stuff so i'm gonna use this and see how it works and if it does a good job i'll let you know and if it doesn't do a good job i'll let you know one way or the other we'll let you know in one of the upcoming videos but yeah um like i said it was a very quick haul i just needed a few little things especially the milk so as of May 22nd, I'm at $184.42. Not too bad. So I'm sure I'll be back with a few more hauls. Bye-bye. Hey, YouTube friends. It's Michelle. And it is the end of the month. And I'm here with my last haul of May of 2023. This haul is going to be from... IGA and I did this on May the 30th my total came to $55 and 14 cents so if you add that to my previous total of $184 and 42 cents it brings my grand total for May to $239 and 56 cents now, one thing that you will not see here that I've already put away is eight 12 packs of Mountain Dew. So, they are not showed here, but they're included in this price of $55.14. I went to IGA um, on um, discount day for older people with my mom and I got her discount so that helps me out tremendously when I can do that and I did have a very low total this month but I have to let you know that my mom did help me out on some groceries here and there and I just didn't have the receipts to do the grocery haul and stuff so I'm gonna say with what she helped me out with and plus what I spent, it was probably about a $300 month. So, not too bad. I never made it to Sam's Club. So, definitely going to have to make that a um, priority for June to go and 
renew my membership because it has expired now. So, um, yeah, so June will probably be uh, a much higher figure and stuff, but I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, I used what I had a lot of and stuff, and I still have quite a bit of meat to use to carry me through to June as well. So I'm pretty happy about that because the meat, you know, these days, it all adds up, but the meat, boy, whew, they get you. So I'm going to show you what my $55.14 got me this week at IGA. And like I said, there are eight 12-pack of Mountain Dews that aren't shown. They've already been put away. So I don't think I did too bad, you know, especially with soft drinks and the prices that they are. So I got a really good deal on those. They were four for $13.00. So I got eight, and then I also had a coupon where if you buy five Pepsi products or Frito-Lay products, you got $3 off. So that was a really, really good deal. So helped me out a lot. So those soft drinks should last me for quite a while because I've been doing pretty good about laying off the soft drinks and drinking water and lemonade and stuff like that, you know. Um, stuff that's a little bit better for me than soda. So I'm just trying to not completely get away from it, but to kind of tone it down on how much I do drink. So, again, let's get started. They have their chips. Buy one, get one free. And I think they're like four forty nine dollars regular price. So came out to be about $2 and a quarter a piece. Not too bad. I would have actually gotten more, but I did get a really good deal at um, CVS earlier uh, this month or earlier this week. Um, they had a deal there, and I got like six bags of Frito Lay chips again using that coupon that I told you that I used here, where you get three dollars off. So it made it really a good deal. I got like. Um, Lay's potato chips, and I got Doritos, too, so, but that was a CVS haul, and most of that is, like, personal hygiene products and stuff, so I don't never do my CVS hauls, so you won't see those, but yeah, that's why I didn't get more chips, otherwise, I probably would have stocked, or stocked up on chips, too, when they have the buy one, get one free, so. So, I got a package of just the plate and then a package of the barbecue. Uh, they have their little Country Time singles on sale, two for five dollars. Like I said, I've been drinking quite a bit of lemonade and I like the Country Time. My favorite is the Wilers, but I cannot find it. So, I don't know if they quit making it or if it's just hard to find or uh, the stores that I'm looking for it aren't carrying it. What's going on with it, but. Yeah, I like the Weilers um, even better than the Country Time. But um, if I have to go for a second best, it'll be Country Time. And I like to add strawberries to my lemonade. And I just use, um, I was using like the uh, frozen strawberries at Walmart that come with the sugar. But I started just um, taking fresh strawberries and slicing them and just add that. And that's a whole lot less sugar and stuff and a lot better for me so and it tastes just the same you can't tell you can't tell that that sugar is missing from those strawberries added so yeah so those are good and i just got those um went and catch a good deal on some bottled water and that's what i got these for was just to put in bottled waters then i got some of these wilers and this is the blue ocean Breeze. It's the Island Punch. So those are some of the singles. Um, I got the Fruity Red Punch. Island Punch. And then I got the Blue Raspberry Starburst. I've never tried the Starburst and the singles and stuff. So curious to see how those are like. Then they have their Sweet Baby Rays on sale too for $5.00. But I kind of messed up because I just noticed as I was putting everything out 
this bottle here is bigger than the other three bottles. And, of course, it was more. So, that's okay, though. It was still a good deal. It was like $1.79 instead of $1.50. So, not too bad. But I wanted to try it because it's the garlic parmesan. And um, if you watch a lot of, like, cooking videos, uh, there was a TikTok uh, that went viral using the Buffalo Wild Wings garlic parmesan sauce on chicken and make it like a pasta and i've tried that and it's really good i've also tried the great value brand of the par garlic parmesan but i think that this was actually cheaper than the great value brand when it was on sale for the dollar 79 so i just wanted to get it and try it and see if it's comparable that way if it goes on sale again and it's cheaper and i want it i know that i like it so I got that, and then I just got another bottle of just a regular Sweet Baby Ray's, um, and then I got this one, the Hickory and Brown Sugar, and then last, I got the Honey Chipotle, which I've tried before, and it's really good. I like to make like a stir fry uh, with rice and stuff, and I put this on there. So, so good. So, and then... Um, Another barbecue sauce that they had on sale was the Kraft, and they had these on sale for 75 cents, which is a way good deal. So, I got the spicy honey to try. I've never tried that kind. So, I would have stocked up on that, but I'd already put all the baby, sweet baby rays in there, and I was like, I don't need all this barbecue sauce. So, yeah, but 75 cents for the Kraft, that's a good deal. You used to could get it for that price, regular price, but not no more. <laughs> um, then I got some of the great big uh, tortilla shells. I like to use these when I do like crunch wraps because they're so big and they're uh, easy to wrap the whole thing and stuff. Because the little ones, you know, they want to fall apart, tear and stuff like that. So I like to get the biggest ones I can get. These are pretty darn good size, as you can see. There's my hand. So, those should work pretty well with the crunch wraps, the knockoff crunch wraps from Taco Bell. Um, they also had a lot of their Eckridge uh, meat on sale, and I always like to stock up when they have that on sale, because this is just like $4 and something regularly in the stores, and they had it all on sale for $1.99, so... Definitely good stock up prices. It was for, you know, the Memorial um, holiday weekend and stuff. So, I got some of the um, cheddar. This is really good. I've tried it before and it's really, really good. And then I just got some of the regular smoked sausage. And, I mean, there's just so many things you could do with the sausage and stuff. As a matter of fact, the stir fry that I told you I used that chipotle in, um, I use this sausage. I cut it up and use it in that. So, good stuff. And they had the Nathan's Hot Dogs on sale for $3.99. Um, it's not the big pack, though. You got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five in there. So, but still, I like the Nathan Hot Dogs. They're my favorite. Um, second place would be the ballpark. That's the ones I used to get all the time. And then I decided to try Nathan's. And they are by far my favorite. So, but they're pricey. So, I only get them when they're on sale. And then, again, with the Eckridge sale, they have their little breakfast smoky sausages on sale. And I like to use these to season beans with. Um, I season, like, um, pork and beans and green beans. Um, great northern beans, just any kind of bean. That's what my mom always used in her beans and stuff to uh, season them. And I still use bacon and stuff too, but I also have to have my little smokies. And I actually made some pork and beans, uh, baked beans, um, this past weekend. And I had these in the freezer, and it was a new pack, and I went to open them, and I realized they were cheddar. So, in the baked beans, they were pretty good, but 
I don't think I went to Cheddar one second by green beans and stuff, so I just accidentally had picked up the wrong one. So I definitely needed a new pa a package of them, but I went ahead and got another package to put in my big freezer, because um, these last me for quite a while and stuff. So those should last me for quite a while now that I have two packs of them. Yay. And then I picked up some apple cider vinegar. Um, I don't know that I've ever bought this before, but I've noticed that a lot of recipes that I've been saving here lately call for this. So, I don't know if I'm going to like it in the recipes or not. I have no clue, but I got it to, like I said, to do the recipes. I'm sure it's probably something that all the other flavors are probably going to um, take, like if you just tried it you know, out of the bottle, you're probably not going to like it, but when you mix it with everything else, it's probably just something that just adds to the flavor, so, picked that up, and then the last thing I got were some waffles, because I've just been having a craving for waffles, and it sounded good, and I have some, um, syrup here, so, yeah, I went ahead and picked up the waffles, so that there, y'all, is my haul. Again, my May 2023 tally ended up being $239.56. So, I hope life's treat y'all well, and I'll be back in June for more grocery hauls, y'all. Bye-bye.